What's up everybody, Kinetic here and welcome back to Diablo 3 State of the Game now for Demon Hunters. This video is going to kind of give uh, you a look at the gameplay of what are some of the top performing builds, uh, some of my impressions and thoughts on Demon Hunter in general. So let's actually take a look at the, uh, the ladders because this is a really big part I think of kind of showing off like what's you know what's the new hotness for uh, for what's going on with Demon Hunters. This is the normal version right first we're gonna look at this and what we're seeing is uh, we're seeing the um, excuse me the uh, the legacy of Nightmares build is uh, is dominating still on the normal leaderboards as it was in the uh, the previous season. Number 10 uh, this is where we can see the the Marauder set is is finally making its mark on the uh, on the leaderboards, and this is the the result probably for this guy because of the new changes to the Hellcat Waste Guard. The grenades have a chance to bounce five times, dealing an additional 50% damage on each bounce, and this bonus is increased to 800% on the final bounce. And what this looks like, it, it's like this slow launched gigantic like wrecking ball kind of grenade that bounces uh, a few times up to five times and just devastates like everything in its path everything that it uh, it comes into contact with and because it's such a slow moving projectile it's such a radically different gameplay style compared to for example the the hyper speed of the multi-shot demon hunter it's kind of like the difference between a, a leap quick barbarian and a whirlwind barbarian just the speed and the uh the method right is so so different the marauders is much more tactical they have to be very methodical about where they're placing their uh, their sentries and uh in order to to get the the enemies tied up in the the polar station for the uh, the slow effect that contributes to their defense and their offense and then while they're in there start launching these grenades and it's it's so cool i, I like it i like how different it is from the multi-shot i still prefer multi-shot like again I'm, I'm just into those super hyper fast builds that can allow me to go blistering speeds through rifts but i do really like the uh, like i said the slow and more methodical gameplay style of the marauders and we're gonna see that it actually gets even more interesting from there but this is what more or less the uh the build looks like here on normal and if we switch over to seasons wait for it wait for it come on okay there we go boom there it is at number one the marauder set with the hellcat pretty much the almost the exact same build is here at number one it's also at number two and at number three uh here on the uh, the season leaderboards this is where we're seeing the legacy of nightmares and the uh, the fan of knives build so there's a few others here that are doing the uh the new grenade build we can see what is this here at number five this might be our first multi-shot. Yes, this is our first uh, multi-shot Demon Hunter build uh, on the uh, the season leaderboards. It hasn't changed, <laughs> I don't think, at all since uh, since I last uh, played it to death. And uh, that's sitting at number five, a few levels behind uh, the, the number 82 slot there. But uh, there we can see. Looks like Demon Hunter is enjoying some nice diversity as well now here on the uh, on the leaderboards here in season, and uh, that's really cool. But if you're speed farming, I honestly think that so that way you don't have to kind of dick around with all of the the sentry placements and stuff like that. Just go with the unhallowed essence and the multi shot. It's you can get very similar results, right, out of the uh, the Marauders. But like I said, you've got to kind of be concerned about the placement of the sentries. Whereas the the unhallowed essence and the multi shot, there's a, you're already locked and loaded. All you got to do is pew pew, and it's beautiful. <laughs> it's just it's pew pew tumble, pew pew tumble. Everything's dying all over the place. It's insane. Um, that to me is the better speed farming build, but for uh, for greater rifts, no doubt it's it's not even uh, debatable, at least right now anyway, that uh, that the grenade build with the Marauder set is doing very very well. What's fun about this is this build can easily can be converted into a speed farming build that works comparably to uh, the multi shot Demon Hunter. All you really need to do is just go into your skills. You're going to change Cluster Arrow to, to Multi-Shot, and then go into... Uh, actually, you would change out your passives. You don't need Grenader anymore. Uh, I, I go with Tactical Advantage for the uh, the bonus speed. We don't need Leech anymore. 
Uh, custom engineering I'm actually getting from my um, uh, my Hellfire amulet, but that is definitely a must-have right there. Uh, what else can you go with? You can go with uh, you could go with numbing tracks, I suppose, but it's not really necessary. It's not it's not really that serious when it comes to the passives ambush something something like that. You're not going to need awareness. Swap out the focus and restraint for unity and for uh, Compass Rose, your amulet for the, the Traveler's Pledge, and then swap out Manticore for Yang's Recurve, and now you've just converted the Grenade Marauders set to now a uh, multi-shot Marauders. And it, it works almost exactly the same, except that uh, it's so much faster. You're not, you don't have this slow moving uh, projectile anymore, you have the speed and like the coverage, right? Once you've got all of the uh, the sentries placed, you got the insane coverage of multi-shot just blasting everything to pieces on the screen. I almost forgot the Kanai Cube options, so there you go. Instead of the Hellcat and instead of the uh, the Unity, I go with Nemesis Bracers and Convention of Elements for the Kanai Cube. I go with Nemesis because while I could make my uh, multi-shot even cheaper with the, uh, the Cinder Coat, I, I want the convenience of having a Nemesis Bracer, so every time I touch a shrine, and again, we're just going for that speed, right? That speed and that farming capability, especially for Death's Breath, right? Um, I go ahead and I put it uh, here in this slot. Something that definitely needs to be addressed, I think, by by Blizzard here, and needs to be kind of brought up here in the state of the game for Demon Hunters, is their lack of uh, positions in four-man groups. We can see here we've got... Uh, Witch Doctor, Barbarian, Wizard, and Monk. This is this is actually good to see because I think that uh, recently both Demon Hunters and Wizards were both in this position where they weren't really desired that much for uh, four-man groups. They're really good at soloing, like the Vyres for uh, Wizard and um, and the Legacy of Nightmares, like Fan of Nights and stuff like that for uh, for Demon Hunter, great at soloing, but nobody was really bringing them for the top end, you know, high high ranking uh, groups. I think last season it was like Monk, Monk, Witch Doctor, Barbarian, or something like that. And yeah, it's it's still the same problem. There's almost no Demon Hunters to be found here, except down here. There's finally a, a Shadow Mantle Demon Hunter there. We could keep scrolling. And scrolling and scrolling and they're just they're they're non-existent pretty much here here we are in three men groups nowhere to be seen oh there we go there's one that's and that's got to be a grenade build right yep cluster bomb uh, grenade build for uh, for three men so I mean they're they're sometimes in there like when they can when they can <laughs> persuade or bribe somebody enough to uh, to get their way into a party but uh, yeah they're they're pretty much uh exclusively soloing for uh for their ladder climbs and their uh, their bragging rights the fact that demon hunters aren't strongly uh positioning themselves in uh, four man meta doesn't really bother me cuz i i prefer the solo gameplay anyway uh but i do feel bad for demon hunters that wish they could be back in the four man party uh climb for you know top raking on the ladders and stuff like that but uh <laughs> unless they're like i said unless they're bribing somebody or just really close buddies or something like that maybe just insanely good at uh, at performing with their build they're not going to make their way into uh, the four man or even the three men <laughs> uh, groups for uh, for climbing high tier ladders and that's uh, that's kind of sad but if uh, if you're like me and you're not concerned about groups then you've got nothing to worry about the the, the new marauder uh, belt hellcat waste guard is so freaking good and like I said it's a really fun gameplay style that is uh, quite the contrast from the the hyper speed of the multi shot builds so there you go guys I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video as I kind of break down and show you what's hot and the state of the game for demon hunters here in Diablo 3 the legacy of nightmares demon hunters are still doing very well but in the current season right now they are being outperformed by the new Hellcat waste guard uh, marauders build and uh, that's good to see but it's also cool to see that uh, the multi-shot build is not far behind that uh, that either so like I said earlier in the video demon hunters are kind of enjoying 
uh, a very similar um, amount of diversity for uh, what's the what's the top competing builds right now in uh, Diablo 3. That's all for this video. Next up, I'll be probably covering either Wizard or I'm going to be covering uh, Witch Doctor. Or, hey, you know what? I'll just leave it up to you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about the, uh, the state of the game for Demon Hunters. And make a request if you want to see uh, what class that I cover next. I'll be doing that in the next day or two or three or something like that. Click the like button to support these Diablo 3 videos here on the channel. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.